Sabi ko. Okay. Tama mo. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Jeremiah. I'm Marie and we are from Tours R Us. And welcome to the Orange Room series. Today we are going to share our crazy, funny, tragic, horrifying lahat na travel experiences in the past. So stay tuned until the end of this video to be entertained. I think this one is funny. It was 2014 or 15, I can't remember the date or the year, mm -hmm. but it's in London. I was okay. with a group from a corporate company, and this experience was a five star deluxe experience. Wow. Diba? So, sino ba naman ng gaakala na ako may experience yung five star deluxe experience na yun. So, we are in a fine dining restaurant. Sino? Ako na sa fine dining restaurant? Yes, I was in a fine dining restaurant together with a group, and my meal was a steak. First time ko to have steak in my plate. Unfortunately, I don't eat steak. Hindi ako vegetarian or hindi ako something na nagda diet. Pero hindi familiar sa hand steak that time. So that was your first time to try steak. Yes. My first time talaga. Since hindi ako familiar sa kanya, when I got that steak, I said, Hello, bakit ganito? Bakit parang there's still blood on it? <laughs> Medyo creepy for me, ha? So, ang nangyari, there's this head waiter went to our table, checked on me, and asked me, Ma'am, is there something wrong with your steak? I told the, the head uh, waiter, Sorry, um, I don't eat steak. Then, he went to the kitchen, come back with the head chef. Imagine head chef lumapit sa table namin asking me if there's something wrong with my steak. Mm -hmm. I told them, no, there's nothing wrong with your steak. It's just that it's my first time to eat steak. What they did is they changed my meal into a chicken, so oh, a roasted yes. chicken. Naisip ko, am I rude? Am I bad not to eat the steak? My tour mates told me the steak was superb, but then again, it's my first time to eat to have or to eat a steak that time. So nahiya ako, nahiya ako na hindi ko siya nakain. Pero now mm -hmm. I can eat steak and it's medium well. Wow, nice. Wow. Okay. You have your preferred. <laughs> na ang atin yung. So what am I going to share is. A tragic experience actually. Oh. So it was way back on November 2019. Uh -huh. It was in Rome. So it's our first day. It's our arrival in Rome. So uh -huh. our flight is mid-afternoon, I think. So we are not able to check in again the hotel. Straight from the flight, yeah? Right? Yes, straight from the okay. flight. So we went to city tour. We left our things in the bus. Uh -huh. and then after four hours or five hours of city tour, siguro, we went back to the bus only to find out that some of our things and bags were missing. Oh, that's tragic. In yes. Really we were really shocked and we don't know what to do because it's our first day. All of our things are in the bus and in the bags. Because it's our first day yeah. and it's city tour, it's a walking tour, so you left all your things there. Tapos, Wait, how about the driver? Where's your driver that time? He keeps on telling that he's inside the bus all the time, but it's very impossible because my small luggage were also stolen. Oh. So it's possible that he didn't notice that my small luggage ko. Tapos and he was in the ng bus. So what? crazy about this um, experience is that all of my toiletries, my snacks, my kike kit were there. Oh my god! So after check-in, we had our police report and then I went to a mini grocery. I went I went there to buy some things, toiletries, toothbrush, uh -huh. and yeah. And what's crazier, crazier <laughs> about this is that when I'm already in Paris, so my small luggage were stolen, so I don't have um, another space for yeah. for the things that I bought uh, all throughout the tour. Uh -huh. So I have to buy another luggage. So what happened is that I'm in a hurry. I just bought the luggage. I didn't even try to change the pin with the the TSA yeah, lock. the TSA lock. Okay. So I tried it changing in my hotel room now. I haven't put anything in the luggage. Mm -hmm. Then I cannot open it now. I tried so many times. <laughs> I tried many combinations. I cannot open it. So I end up 
taking home the luggage empty. So I just bought a luggage in Paris without putting anything on it. So that's a crazy, crazy, crazy experience for me. And then when I went back to Manila, so I went to a department store to have it change. So I can use it in my future travel. So uh, one of the craziest moment that I had is the one with traveling in Amsterdam. So in Amsterdam around December or November 2018. So we had our night tour in Amsterdam and then we had our one and a half free time. I got a call from a friend and then she's requesting to buy this special mug in Starbucks. I searched the location and the ways how to go there. For a while after buying that stuff, I think I lost because since I'm following the Google Maps, I noticed that this area where the Google Maps is locating me is closed. So naligaw ako during that time. <laughs> so naligaw ako around 25 to 30 minutes siguro kung paikot-ikot sa area. Kasi yung tinuro ni Google Maps, parang dito yung way, pero pagpunta ko doon, may gate siya na malaki. So definitely, sarado siya. I think that's the craziest one kasi na huli din ako sa pick up time namin dun sa pick up location ng bus namin. So medyo nakakahiya talaga siya. So sento, sento sa Amsterdam sa city center ba? Yes, sa city center kasi nagkaroon kami ng Amsterdam by night tour. Tapos after that, meron kaming time for dinner. Tapos after dinner, yun nga, nagpunta ka ng Starbucks. Tapos from Starbucks, dapat pupunta na ako dun sa pick up location. Pero naligaw ako. I can't relate kasi hindi ba ako naliligaw ako. Kasi oh? hindi ako pinifail ni, ano, ni Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> my top one craziest thing that I experienced abroad, it was in October of 2019. So we were in Spain that time. Salamanca in particular. We didn't stay in Salamanca, pero we just went there for a city tour. We came from Fatima in Portugal, so that morning before we went to Salamanca. So during that morning, one of my tour mates approached me that She's not feeling well. I saw her naman na she's not feeling well. Kasi parang ang tail niya, tsaka ang tamlay niya. Like, mm -hmm. she's a very jolly person. Pero, you know, suddenly, <laughs> that morning, she was sick. So, that time, in Portugal, wala kaming mahanapan na bibila ng gamot niya. Because her meds yata that time was antibiotics. And wala siyang dala. Parang nakalimutan niya. So, wala sa din siyang Pilipinas. reseta? Ganyan. Wala din siyang... <laughs> Wala din siyang resetang dala. <laughs> Nag-take lang siya ng parang pain reliever for that time. And then, okay na. Kaya nakaalis kami pupunta ng Salamanca. And then when we were in Salamanca, parang nandun kami sa Salamanca Cathedral. Kasi our, our tour that time was a pilgrimage tour. So we were at the church at Salamanca Cathedral. They were having mass. Tapos she approached me again na parang hindi niya na talaga kaya. Tapos inaapoy na siya ng lagnat. Naganap na ako ng antibiotics kasi nga nilalagnat na siya. So, kasama kayong tour guide, naganap kami ng pharmacy doon sa, around the area doon. Eh, buti na, city center naman yun. We found one, um, it's a small pharmacy, tapos, we tried buying antibiotics. Kasama kayong tour guide, ah, syempre hindi ako yung nagsasalita, parang nandun lang ako, nagsasalita ako, pero tinatranslate, tara yung Miss Universe. Oh. <laughs> Ayaw niya kami pagbentahan, kasi wala kaming reseta. Prescription drug kasi yung antibiotics, so kailangan talaga. I, I know naman, pero you know, we tried our luck lang na baka pagbentahan kami yung mga stories, ganyan. And then, de, so lumabas kami. Hanap kami ng plan nung tour guide. Let's try again, sorry kasi <laughs> mag sa ano. I'll try to speak to the pharmacist. pharmacist. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> this is, ito na yung nakakatawang part. When we went back to the pharmacy, I begged. <laughs> I begged dun sa ano, sa pharmacist. Hawa ko yung name nung antibiotic. Pero wala kong prescription pa rin. Can we please buy this medicine, this antibiotic? Because my, my tour mate really needs it. I was crying that time. So, I Fake my name. Oh. For acting, lang, oh, for a show. Sure. Para for the show. For the show. For the show. translate the show. For 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 the the show. the 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 some box pa siya. For, good for 14 days or more. <laughs> Makakapag-take home pa siya sa Pilipinas. So, nakabili kami dahil sa acting skills. Oh, best actor ka <laughs> best na. Actor. Grabe. Best actor Grabe. Best actor na. Kasi yung pagkatalikod namin dun sa pharmacies. Sabi ko, okay, tama mo. 
<laughs> so, job well done for me, you know, and kudos din dun sa translator ko. Pati yata yung iya ko translate niya. Para <laughs> 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 so, yun, yun lang naman niya sa akin, you know, there were a lot of, like, crazy experiences I had when I was abroad. Napakarami. Pero yun, yun talaga yung hindi Ito, mapantayan. Yun kasi, <laughs> kasi napaka-loko-loko ko, you know, mm-hmm. just to buy a medicine. Kasi I was desperate that time for looking, for, rate, diba? looking for a medicine. Kasi it's know. an emergency Ayan. naman. So lesson learned, it's either huwag ka na mag-Starbucks <laughs> or or alamin mo yung the gar. <laughs> Minsan hindi reliable yung Google yes. Maps. So mas maganda kung before ka lumabas dun sa area ng meeting point niya, alamin mo kung ano yung mga nasa paligid niya. Para alam mo yung way papunta and pabalik. Crazy. <laughs> Always ask for assistance. Especially yeah. if you're not a pro, always be careful and yeah, put your other snacks in your big luggage so you won't end up starving. Check. That's a learn when you are traveling. You need to bring maintenance mm-hmm. drugs yes. or yung mga tinitig mong medications. Or if not, dapat merong andalang reseta. Reseta talaga para para mapagbenta. Especially if ano siya over the counter. Mm-hmm. Basa yun yung kailangan ng reseta. So, yun, yun, yun yung All our travels made mm-hmm. crazy or funny experiences, but the thing is, we learn from it. Yes, and now we're just laughing about it. Yeah, well, traveling makes you learn something, makes you educated. Me, myself, I learned how to eat steak and I learned how to eat other delicacies from the different countries we visited. Mm-hmm. And that's what we miss about traveling, so we cannot wait to go back on the road. We will be traveling soon, so dream now and we will travel later. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get updated <laughs> with our newest uploads. We upload videos weekly. See you on our next video. Bye! Bye. Bye. Portugal. Basta sa Fatima. Fatima is Fatima. Yes. Nakalimutan ko na. Kinalawang na.